Hello and welcome everybody. I am the IT guy and I have this ThinkPad laptop over here with me. Now, what is the problem with this laptop? Let me tell you. So let me boot it. PC up. So what it boots, basically, the only thing that it really does is it boots up to the logo, to the Lenovo logo, to the ThinkPad logo, and then it tries to boot into a Windows and all we get to see is a blinking cursor. So just like, just like I said over here, we'll see this blinking cursor and that's basically all it will do all the time. So how do we go about fixing this problem? Well, let me tell you, let me go over all the steps you'll need to do into fixing this problem. So in order to, so in order to fix this problem, you'll need a USB stick and you'll need a working computer with an internet connection because we're gonna be downloading a Windows 10 uh, installation uh, USB stick. So if you do not know how to do that, you type in Google, you type in media creation tool, and then the first uh, link you find, you follow that, and then you come on this, uh, you land on this Microsoft web page, and you just uh, download, you download it, and then you download the media creation tool itself, and uh, yeah, you just use the media creation tool to install a USB stick of Windows 10. And then once that's done, we'll use that USB stick over here to boot the system. So let us first of all uh, shut the system off and let's insert our USB stick. And let us boot off of the USB stick to begin. So I will choose my Kingston Data Traveler over here. So now we are in our Windows installation. So just click next and choose your language first. We're gonna select repair your computer over here. And then we're gonna go over to troubleshoot. And then we're gonna go over to command prompt and just select that. Now we're gonna type in disk part is the first command we're gonna type in disk part. And let me do it a little bit like this, It'll be a lot easier to see for you guys. Now let's type in list volume. Now we'll see um, the volumes that are on our machine. And we want this one over here, so we want Windows USB. So we're gonna take note of the drive letter D. So now let's exit disk part. Now let's type in cd slash d and then we're going to type in d colon forward slash boot and this will bring us into the boot uh, folder of our usb stick and now let's type in dir and we're going to see this command over here bootsect.exe so that's what we're going to type in i'm going to type in bootsect.exe i'm going to type in slash nt60 we're going to type in sys and we're going to type in slash mbr and that's all we need to do so we're just going to press enter it's going to search for the volumes on our main disk and it will tell us that we have successfully updated the disk boot code and that basically means that the boot record was damaged so the reason why you get that blinking cursor is because that boot record has been damaged in some way or has been, co been corrupted is a better word um, so let's just type in exit here And now let's click continue. Let's see if it worked out or not. I'm gonna reboot the system. I'm gonna unplug the USB stick now. I'm gonna see if everything worked out the way it should have. There we have it. It starts up perfectly. Okay, it's in Dutch. So if you wanna know some Dutch, that basically means starting Windows in Dutch. So yeah, I'm gonna keep filming over here, guys. Uh, as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, this PC is pretty slow, so I, I'm not going to keep you waiting for this guy. So pretty easy, right? It's uh, just as simple as that. Just uh, have to have the bootable USB drive. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.